how do you acquire suppliers to to join your platform? Do you do you do you cold email a bunch of Italian winemakers, or how does it work? Right. So um, a few things happen um, when we launch in um, early 2020. Obviously, uh, we didn't expect COVID to hit, as uh, most of the world. And um, we launched a service. Uh, the, the first uh, MVP was basically a, a recommendation engine um, that uh, small restaurants can use in order to find that, that great product that they're looking for. Um, we, we got some love from uh, small restaurants, and the focus was in New York and New Jersey, where I'm based. And... We had 50 restaurants pre-register before we even launched the product. First week that the, project, the, the product was live, uh, we got two orders uh, from restaurants and then everything shut down. So we had to pivot, right? Um, so we pivoted and became a, basically an open platform that connects uh, businesses from across the three tier. Um, at that point, we, we actually started getting some, some traction uh, we got a feature on Forbes and um, a few trade organizations heard about us. So producers started reaching out to us. And at the same time, uh, we started getting involved with different organizations and, um, and nonprofit trade organizations, government um, organizations. And um, we became the venue of choice for some of the leading industry um, events and expos. Um, so this year we we we've been the uh, for the second year straight uh, the platform of choice for the Taste of Italy, which is one of the biggest wine and, and Italian food events in the U.S. Um, and we're working with others as well. This brings us uh, leads of both. It, it brings basically both buyers and sellers to the platform. Um, so currently we have. Over uh, 4,500 active users spending about five minutes uh, on average on the site per session, which is uh, g good. Uh, it shows some, some good interest, some good traction, um, uh, even compared to uh, content sites, right? 